Well, hello, this is Clyde J. Gale, and you're listening to Clyde's Art Story, Episode 23. With this episode, I discuss a little bit about my art doodle exercise, or what I call art doodle exercises. I've also created a time-lapse video here that you're watching. With most of my artwork, I don't do what some artists call practice. I happen to follow the philosophy of artist teacher and artist coach, Stefan Bauman, who states that with every piece of artwork that you create, it is actually practice for the next one. So you should incorporate everything that you've learned to that point in to that piece of work and treat it as if it's going to be pay you're going to be paid a million dollars it's going to sell for a million dollars and it's a masterpiece now for some artists that creates a bit of anxiety in my case at first it did but then the more I thought about what Stefan Bauman was saying it made sense because this is how an artist can see improvement and that's what all artists want to do we want to improve in our craft we want to improve in what we're trying to express to the viewer. So normally with every piece of work, regardless of if it's a, in whatever medium it's in, watercolor and or, and or acrylic, even drawing and, and uh, hand drawing, pen and ink, I attempt to use all my faculties and incorporate everything that I've learned to that point. However, at times, this can be tiresome. It can also generate a, what they call an artist block to where you just don't feel like getting up and creating that piece of work. That's where art doodles come into play. With these art doodles, these are probably about as close as I'm ever going to get to abstract. Since I'm a representational artist, I usually create something that you can identify. However, with these art doodles, what I do, I use them to relax. This is how I exercise what people call your monkey brain. In essence, I don't pre-plan anything. I don't draw anything out. I don't have any photographs on the computer to look at for references. I just sit there, I pick up the brush, and I just start doodling. I just mess around with color, and then maybe I throw a little bit of pen and ink on there. How many times have you seen like a group of small children, especially two and three year olds, that are seen together with crayons and paper? And how they're so intent on what they're doing, but basically it's just a bunch of just scratches and scrabblingness. One member or so of the of the group may turn out to create something really special, but for the most part, they're just doodling around. Well, that's what this is. That's what my art doodles are for me as an artist. Some of the designs turned out to be pretty decent, and so I put them up on my site because they make great designs for apparel products and for scarves and bags and and uh, whatnot. But for the most part. They're just scribblings and just doodling around. I did do a part of the series of the art doodle. I did some beta fish for a while I just and some flowers, but the majority are, are just scraps around. And I have these five by seven pieces of paper that I can use. There are actually scraps left over from uh, paper from larger cuts. So I don't want to throw them away because it's, it's good watercolor paper. Yeah, 140 pound yeah, paper. So these are art doodles. So you've been listening to episode 23 of Clyde's Art Story and watching my time last video, which I haven't done in a long time. I don't have the proper lighting, so I don't do these that often, but I hope you can visualize and you can see what I'm talking about. This is Clyde J. Kale.